Let's now shift our attention to the other big story that we are tracking on Beyond, and this, of course, has got to do with the financial troubles that Pakistan has got into. Years of financial mismanagement, political instability, and also not pursuing the right economic policies has pushed Pakistani economy to the brink of collapse. The global energy crisis and also the devastating floods that submerged nearly about a third of the country in 2022 have compounded the financial woes of Pakistan and often Pakistan has relied on its friends to bail it out. But now, Saudi Arabia reportedly has decided not to provide any further bailouts or interest-free loans to Pakistan. Now, Riyadh's decision has, on no easy money, has shocked the government officials in Islamabad. The nuclear-armed nation's forex reserves have nosedived, paralyzing supply chains and causing widespread factory closures. Now, to pull the country out of this downward financial ruin, Shahbaz Sharif is battling to try and revive the next tranche of the $6.5 billion loan deal that was sketched out with the IMF back in 2019. However, the global lender is demanding for some pretty stringent reforms, including tax rises and subsidy slashing. Now, these measures are likely to rile up voters ahead of a general election that is due no later than this year. Now, as per reports, even the Pakistani military chief could not convince the Saudi crown prince for releasing some emergency funds that are absolutely essential for the Pakistani state. Now, the question that needs to be asked is, did Pakistan fail to read the writing on the wall? In the month of January, Saudi Arabia's finance minister had said that days of unconditional foreign aid are now over. Speaking at the World Economic Forum, the Saudi foreign finance minister had underlined that the kingdom is now shifting away from giving direct grants and unconditional deposits. On Tuesday, Pakistan's foreign minister, Bilawal Bhutto Zardari, immediately called up his Saudi counterpart to speak with him. Islamabad continues to stare down IMF negotiations that are withholding a crucial bailout. And at this moment, it is difficult to predict as to which way the Pakistani economy will go. Because with IMF playing hardball and with the Saudis having refused an easy interest-free loan, it is difficult to see as to how things can improve for the Pakistani economy. And also our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik has been tracking the story very closely for us and has sent us this report. Listen in. Pakistan and Saudi foreign ministers have spoken over the phone where they have reiterated their commitment on working together on mutual issues and uh, to safeguard each other's interests. Now, this was stated in the press release, but it comes amidst the reports that Saudi Arabia has stated that uh, uh, there is no money for Pakistan going forward. And we saw a similar statement on the sidelines of the Davos uh, World Economic Forum earlier this year in January uh, being issued by the Saudi foreign minister. It also comes in the backdrop of the, as the country Pakistan struggles with its worst economic crisis where the IMF agreement uh, is far from being a reality right now and in which one of the key points is seeking an assurance from bilateral donors. Anas Malik in Islamabad, Pakistan for Vion World is One. Vion is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.